welcome back to my channel so for today's video i thought i would share with you guys my three minute morning makeup routine um yes you heard that right three minutes no but i say that like it's a big deal i know people do these types of videos all the time like 10 minute makeup challenges five minute makeup i think there's even like a one minute makeup challenge going around somewhere so yeah and as you can probably tell right off the bat um i'm looking a bit ugly and that is because i did my brows and nothing else so i'm looking a bit weird but that is because I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, but I do my eyebrows at night and it is the biggest time saver, especially for in the morning, whether I'm running late or rushing or not, like it just saves so much time, especially if you wake up like super early in the morning like me, I wake up at 6am. So I don't have like the most precise vision at 6am and I'm not trying to like fill in the lines and like my brows would look like really messy if I woke up and did them in the morning because like, to be honest... I'm half asleep when I do my makeup, so I like to make everything as easy as possible. Also, I'm pretty sure I talked about it in my nighttime routine video as well. And the reason why I'm calling this my three-minute makeup routine is because this is what I do every morning before school. Um, I kind of wake up late on purpose so like I can get as much sleep as I can because I don't really want to spend that much time on my makeup. Anyways, I'd rather be sleeping, so if I could only spend three minutes on my makeup and like five more extra minutes sleeping like obviously I'm gonna do it so yeah my routine isn't really quick because I'm running late it's kind of just quick because I choose for it to be that way so yeah I'm just gonna be showing you guys my routine and just including some like tips to try and speed up your guys's makeup process in the mornings if you want to get a little bit extra sleep now obviously this video is going to be longer than three minutes because I'm going to be sitting down and explaining things so I know how I talk about in almost every video how bad my dry skin is and how I really love to apply moisturizers, lotions, serums, and things like that literally all the time. And I cannot live without some type of moisturization on my skin, or especially under makeup. So I do like to add a moisturizer. Obviously, if you don't have dry skin, you don't have to do this step. Um, but it's just crucial for me personally. But if you can save time anywhere in this routine, like for example, if you're not someone who wants to wear foundation, obviously skip out on that and that would save you a bunch of time. But for me, I'm going to be going in with my all-time favorite, most talked about product, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Vitamin Serum. And I literally use this all the time. And also, I feel like it really, really... So I know that we have three minutes, but I kind of managed to master this whole routine. So I do like to include a foundation. I've been recently using the BH Cosmetics Naturally Flawless finished foundation in the shade 205 fair golden i like to just put two pumps on my face and that's it and i am going to be using the selfie ready foundation brush from elf to buff that out you guys know i usually go for like um beauty blenders but to me brushes are so much quicker you kind of just like rub it all on rather than sitting there and like pouncing in your makeup and you have to go wet it and if you guys notice yes i did skip primer i feel like this kind of acts as a primer for me um, and it kind of does like two in one it moisturizes and it kind of preps the skin for makeup. And I also like to rub that on my eyelids as well. For my concealer, I'm going to be going in with the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C6. And I kind of like to just do like two big swoops like that. I don't like to do the whole like triangles or like lines or whatever because it kind of just like takes extra time. I know like everything that I'm saying takes an extra like second or two, but it matters you guys i'm not even joking it's also super full coverage so it'll make it look like you have a full face of makeup on when you totally don't i honestly love the formula of that concealer so much it literally blends so quick and easy for me it literally took me like 10 seconds so i obviously do still powder i'm using the milani face powder this is like the only powder that i've been using recently and i've been super into it but i'm using the elf blush brush to apply that and kind of just like swipe it all around also, something that I forgot to mention back when I was doing my primers was a really, really quick and easy time saver is to use some sort of stick primer. It's really easy to just like glide on the areas that you need and it takes like five seconds. So now that I'm done with like my base makeup, for my contour and my highlight, I'm going to be going in with the Profusion Contouring Chocolate Bar. If you guys watch my channel, you know how much of an OG this is. I literally used to use this all the time it was my biggest holy grail ever and i feel like another tip when you're trying to kind of save time wherever you can is to use some sort of palette that has everything in it so now that we're done with our bronzer we can go right into our highlighter that is right below it if my camera's in like a little bit of a different position that is because it died 
But like I was saying, if you're trying to save a little bit more time, try and avoid these kinds of products such as like stick or cream contours and cream or liquid highlighters because they take way more time to blend out and way more effort. But for my mascara, I'm going to be going in with the Estee Lauder Extreme Mascara. And I don't have like a specific mascara that I really grab for in the mornings. But yeah, that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also comment down below what time you wake up because I'm curious. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this in the future if you haven't already. And also turn on my post notifications while you're at it so you can see me in your Dropbox every time I upload. But that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love all of you so, so much. And bye guys.